There is not a single top 10 list on YouTube which highlights the best niche perfumery from Indian houses. Let's change that. Hey guys, welcome to my channel Intellectual Sense. My name is Dev Jyot. On this channel, we talk about fragrance-related content. So if you're interested in that, then please uh, look to subscribe to my channel. As I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers, please help me re reach my short-term goal. Now in today's topic, we're going to discuss about the best niche perfume from Indian houses. Now if you look into this list, you will find that uh, there is lot of variety in this particular list. You will see sandalwood fragrance, vetiver fragrance, oud, rose, coffee. So huge variety of fragrance you will find on this list. And the other thing which you will find also is uh, something which we Indians are very well known for is looking for value for money in everything. Now no matter how rich or poor you are, if you are Indian, you look for value for money in everything. And these perfume provide very good value for money. They are niche perfumery, but they are kind of affordable. Uh, they range from about 1000 rupees to about 15,000 rupees. On average, it's about 5000 to 6000 rupees, uh, which they cost uh, with very good ingredients. So, so this list is consisting of about very good value for money fragrance. We will start with the, with the honorable mentions first, and then we will uh, go on to the top 10. Now my four honorable mention on this uh, particular list uh, are first is Mridul Chopra's Green Bath, an excellent summer option. Uh, this house I have not uh, discovered the best fragrance or tried the best fragrance till now. Uh, I'm always looking for it, uh, but Green Bath was the best I have tried. It's an excellent option for summer. Second is Zach and Dikshit Brindavan, very good niche perfumery, uh, but a bit expensive. And that's the reason it's not in my collection as of now. But this house does high quality natural perfumery of what I've heard. I've not tried many from this house. Uh, third one is a new house which is recently launched is Kannuj Perfumery. This house also does niche perfumery and one of the best perfume I discovered from this line was Trifecta Lotus. An excellent option if you're a lotus lover, if you've tried lotus perfume uh, or not tried it, you can look to try uh, this particular uh, fragrance excellent option and last one is a uh, house of perfumologist tantra oud a sweet oudi fragrance an indian touch to it original fragrance i like it but it was not able to make my top 10 so these four honorable mentions are there let's start with number 10. so at number 10 i've got a fragrance from all good scents and it's vetiver now this vetiver is a very unique vetiver. If you have followed me on my Instagram, you will know that I love my vetiver fragrance. And to find a unique vetiver is always something I'm always looking for. And this is a unique vetiver. Now why it's a unique vetiver is that it's not vetiver dominant in my opinion. There is a lavender in it, there is oak moss in it. And those uh, notes play as big a part as vetiver does. Now this fragrance also cost, does not cost you a fortune. This is about 1200 rupees for 50 ml with EDP concentration. So the reason I have kept this fragrance at number 10 uh, is because of the longevity issue which I found. I would have preferred if it lasted a bit more than six hours. It was about six hours I was getting the longevity out of it. Um, so if it had lasted more, I would have kept it uh, higher down the list. Uh, however, the perfumer of this particular house, Mr. Rajiv, to me, he is one of the best perfumers in India because he creates perfume at low budget and very good original fragrance. You don't have to buy a clone fragrance. You can look to buy an original fragrance for this cost. And one of the fragrance from this house is Urban Night Dusk, which is an amazing fragrance also. It's not in my collection. If it was, it will be certainly in top five in my opinion. So at number 10, Vetiver by All Good Sense. So at number nine, I've got a new house. It's a house of called Liquid Gold. And the name of the perfume is Cariflatium. Now Cariflatium is a scientific name for a clove. And this perfume is constructed around the note of clove. Now we use clove a lot in our cuisines. Uh, it's, a, it's a very spicy uh, fragrance. Uh, now, this is total niche perfumery in my opinion because uh, 
uh, I have never smelled a perfume which is constructed around clove and they have used kapoor in it, they have used cedar in it, they have used sandalwood in it and these are all very heavy notes. Now the only analogy probably I can give to you is that if anyone has tried something like uh, Olympic Orchard uh, Dev 2 or the whole line of Olympic Orchard which creates spicy fragrance, this is something like that. Um, the reason I have kept this uh, fragrance down the order is because I think it is uh, uh, it, this fragrance is for connoisseurs of perfume. Uh, if a normal person will wear it, may not like it. Uh, so that's the reason I have kept down the order and they have used actual gold particles uh, in this perfume. So it's the presentation is just uh, mind blowing. Uh, this cost I think around uh, 7000 uh, for 50 ml. Uh, so yeah, so it's a good option if you love spicy fragrance. So at number 8, I've got House of Nefarious Perfume and the perfume name is Imperial Bantamur. Now Bantamur is a kind of uh, pepper which is uh, found mostly in eastern part of India and Nepal. Now this pepper is comparatively a smoother pepper than the standard pepper you get in the market. And it has got fig in it and it has got boozy note of rum very boozy fragrance uh, this fragrance uh, is kind of a fragrance like you're having your rum drink in the evening and you have got some spicy snacks with it uh, with some figs also that's how it smells like it's a kind of a mature fragrance uh, what i will suggest is that uh, if you're above 35 you're looking for a signature fragrance uh, which is very versatile and you can wear it all around the year then this fragrance is perfect for you so if you're looking for a Father's Day gift, which is coming very soon, this fragrance is perfect option in my opinion. So at number eight, Nefarious Perfumes, Bantimur. So at number seven, I've got House of the Oud Room and the name of the fragrance is Kyara. Now Kyara is kind of a quality of Oud. There is a Keenum quality of Oud. There is a Kyara quality of Oud. It's a kind of a highest grade of Oud you can have. Now in this fragrance they have used Sri Lankan Oud and now if you have followed this channel I have talked about Sri Lankan Oud. Sri Lankan Oud is kind of a green marine quality along with the Oudi profile and this is no different. There is a bit of khas also which comes which adds to the greenness of this particular Oud. Uh, it's a very gentle Oud in my opinion and this uh, Oud is like a mother's kiss. Now that kiss lasts for around 8 hours. Now, when originally I got this fragrance about two, three months back, it was lasting around six hours. So it has got matured and it has started uh, lasting longer. Now also this fragrance is quite, quite versatile. I believe this kind of oud profile you can wear all year long. Uh, maybe not in high heat, but mostly all year long you can wear this particular oud. But you have to love oud. Uh, if you don't love oud, then this might not be the fragrance for you. Uh, so it's a very good uh, oud, natural oud fragrance which I've got in my collection. Excellent option if you're an oud lover. So at number 7, Kyra from the oud room. So at number 6, I've got uh, only gourmand fragrance on this collection which is glazed oud by inspired aroma. Now if you have, uh, you know how to make a cake, you, we, in the cake we use uh, something called glazed vanilla. Now this fragrance actually smells like a cake, a cake which has got vanilla, tonka in it and it has got bit of oud in it also. Now I am not a big gourmand lover, the, if that's the only thing which I don't like in perfumery a lot. I am able to tolerate only few fragrances, and this is one of them. It's a very easy fragrance uh, to wear, it's not overly cloying like some gourmand fragrance can be. Um, and this house also specializes in one thing. That is how to make a fragrance last for very long. Now, if you wear this fragrance uh, uh, on your cloth, I can guarantee you it will last whole day. So that's how a long lasting this particular fragrance is. And it has obviously got pure perfume concentration of oil in it. So if you like gourmand fragrance, but you don't like overly cloying fragrance, then this is the fragrance to go for. Uh, this cost around, I think around 4,000 rupees for 50 ml. Um, so it's a good price range also. So at number six, I've got Glazed Wood by Inspired Aroma. So at number five, I've got House of Hassan Wood and Hassan Wood Hyderabad. 
uh, is one of my favorite blend. I so wanted Delhi to be the best blend coming from Delhi, but I think Hyderabad is the best blend. Now this fragrance is a rose dominant fragrance, but this rose is quite unique. Unique in a way that it has got a huge amount of civet in it also. Uh, it becomes kind of a inky rose. Now if you've seen my date video where I talked about a fragrance called D Squared Royal Potion Black and I said if I had that fragrance uh, which was not discontinued, I had that fragrance but if it was not discontinued and people were not asking for crazy prices, I would have put that fragrance at number one. This fragrance is exactly like that fragrance. The only difference is that it has got uh, Royal Potion Black has got leather in it. This one has got amber in it. That's the only difference I see about it. Other than that, it's kind of a same uh, scent profile. And this fragrance lasts a long time. I'm talking about 10, 12 hours, easy with a couple of sprays of it because it has got pure perform concentration. Uh, very natural smelling fragrance, uh, very seductive fragrance, very dark fragrance. So if you're looking for a date fragrance, don't look any forward. Try Hassan Oud Hyderabad. So at number four, I've got House of Isaac fragrance and the fragrance name is Edge of Dream. Now this fragrance is a sandalwood dominant fragrance in my opinion, which takes you to the edge of the, the mountain and it brings you back. Uh, the sandalwood in it is very uh, amazing. It's, I think they have used Australian sandalwood because it kind of reminds me of another fragrance called Paris Monte Carlo Santal du Pacific uh, that has used in Australian sandalwood also. Now it has got an oak moss in it, it has got a bit of oud in it, uh, excellent blend and if you look into the note structure, the note structure seems like it has got very heavy notes but it's an easy fragrance to wear which you can wear all year long and this lasts quite a long time, I'm, I'm talking about 8 hours easily on my skin and cost around 3200 rupees for 50 ml with EDP concentration. So if you're looking for a sandalwood fragrance which does not cost you a fortune, which can last all year long, it's a versatile fragrance which you can wear in most occasion, then look for Edge of Dream by Isaac Fragrance. So at number three, I've got a fragrance called Rose Oud by Heaven Duft. Now this uh, uh, fra uh, fragrance house is created by Mr. Tosev who is inspired by Roja Dove. Now when I was talking to him I was asking about his inspiration because it's a very new house and he told me he looks up to Roja Dove and I see a touch of Roja Dove in this particular fragrance. Now this fragrance has got about three different roses and those roses are blended with amber, with oud of highest quality means like the quality of the fragrance uh, or the ingredients in this particular fragrance is Botnikov level, of Arij level, of Insar level. That's how good the quality of, uh, uh, of ingredients which they have used. It kind of reminds me of one of the fragrance from Botnikov called Zemfina. Actually, I prefer this fragrance over Zemfina. Uh, that fragrance has also, also got several different rows and it has got a bit of oud in it, similar to it. Now this starts off with different uh, roses blended with different uh, ingredients which are kind of dancing with the rose for first four hours and then after four hours I see the rose taming down and you see more amber and oudy fragrance and it lasts for about eight hours I will say eight to nine hours and it smells very natural and very rich that's the beauty of this particular fragrance. Now. If this fragrance was not costing 15,000 rupees for 100 ml, uh, if it was around 10,000 mark, I would have uh, put this fragrance uh, maybe at number one. Uh, that's how much I love this particular fragrance. It's a rose bomb. So if you're a rose lover, you love rose oud combination, then give it a try. Rose oud by Heaven Duft. So at number two, I've got a fragrance from Sandy's Fragrance. Now this fragrance is called Coffee Tobacco Oud. Now I've been looking for a good coffee fragrance for a good 10 years. Uh, I've tried several uh, uh, you know, coffee based fragrance. Some coffee fragrance have no coffee in it and some coffee fragrance has so much of coffee in it, it's like you're walking espresso. Uh, so, so this particular fragrance is not like that. It has got the balance perfectly. The perfumery is all about getting the balance right. 
that's what good good perfumers do in my opinion and in this case that is uh, what has happened when i smelled it i was totally blown over because the other fragrance which i had tried from this house couple of other fragrance were not that great but this one was out of the park uh, that's how good this fragrance is this last long time eight nine hours so if you're a coffee lover and you haven't found that coffee fragrance then look no further than this particular fragrance so coffee tobacco oud by sandy fragrance at number two so at number one i've got a fragrance called ajmal dhanul oud motak now this particular fragrance is uh, it's like a fragrance which is a dream fragrance in my opinion now at price of seven thousand rupees they have provided one of the best qualities of indian oud blended with beautiful rose uh, and it has got a musky fragrance it has got some florals in it an excellent option um, in my opinion this particular fragrance checks all the boxes uh, it has got high quality of ingredient it lasts pretty well it's a great blend uh, it does not cost you a fortune uh, it, it's about i think 7000 rupees for 60 ml with edp concentration and the presentation the presentation of this particular perfume beats george of also the crystal cut glasses such an amazing presentation so in my opinion the best fragrance which uh, has been created by indian house is no surprise that it is coming from house of ajmal uh, because ajmal is kind of a pride of india in my opinion uh, so at number one dhanal oud motak so guys i hope you enjoyed this list a list which has taken me a couple of years to create so if you are liking the work which i which i'm creating please help me spread my work by liking this video and subscribing to my to my channel and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Cheers.